Okay, finding the area of composite shapes is not really that complicated. You just need to be able to see the shapes that make up composite put together. Uh, more than one simple shape to make up a more complicated shape. So if we look at something like this, this shape here, we've actually got a square with a triangle attached. So if we add up those two areas, we're going to have the area of that composite shape. This one here, a little bit more complex, is a rectangle, but we actually can take away a triangle. We know how to find the areas of each of these. So let's have a look at our examples. So find the area. The area is the insidey bit, right? Find the area of each of these composite shapes. Now we've got some information here for this first one. And uh, what I see here is, whoa, a straight line would be better. So we have a rectangle. Area equals the length times the width. And to that area, we will add the area of the triangle, one half the base times the height. So the length in this case is nine, and the width is five, or you want to look at it differently, the length is five and the width is nine, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to add that to one half the base times the height. So what we need to figure out is what this base is, because we know the height is going to be five, because that's the same as over here. So what we do is we have 12 on this side, and if we've turned this into a proper rectangle, then we take away the 9 down here, because that's all accounted for, and that leaves us with 3 meters. So if we take our base to be 3 meters times the height of 5, then what we get is 45 plus 1 half of 15, which we can quickly work out as 7.5, and that leaves us with 52 0.5. And what are the units? We're dealing with meters. So we've got meters, and with area, we have square meters. Now, with example B, we're looking for the area, but in this case, we're actually, there's two ways to look at it. So we've got a triangle here. Oh, that's cool. And then if we extend this, we've got a rectangle down here, and then we've got two triangles, one here and one here. And so you're like, ha <laughs> Let's do it. You could try and work it out, but what we definitely have is this. So, like the example above, where we subtracted a triangle, let's let's work it out this way, where we absolutely know that the area of a square is going to be the length or the sides squared, which is the same as saying length times width, but they're the same. And to that, we're going to actually subtract the area of that triangle, which is one half base times height. So let's put it together. So a side of our full square. The whole thing is 6. So we're going to square 6, and from that, we're going to take away 1 half the base, and we know that if it's a square, that this base is going to be 6 centimeters. 1 half of 6 times the height, and we're given that as 4. So now we've got 6 times 6 is 36 minus... So we do all this together. 6 times 4 is 24, and one half of that is 12, which is 12 in German. And so the area is actually going to be 24. And what is our unit centimeters? So area is going to be centimeters squared. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sehr gut. Dankeschön.